Iron Man, the beginning of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the greatest movie series to have ever graced this earth. Man, it is giant. It's huge. Oh my god. Marvel Universe is insane. I love them. I love it so much. I watch every single movie that comes out now, and I'm really, really enjoying watching all the movies that come out, and I'm really excited for Endgame. So, I thought I'd go back and rewatch all the Marvel movies, because I haven't seen some of them. I haven't seen Iron Man 1, but I am going to review it for you guys today. I, I did see it. I saw it for this. I didn't see it before. Like, I just saw it, like, last week. So, I'm going to give you guys a review of that one. Iron Man 1 is the first Marvel movie to have ever come onto this stage. Not the first Marvel movie, but the first one in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is the beginning of the titan of the movie business, the Marvel Universe. And I think it started off pretty strong with Iron Man 1. While watching this movie, it was hard for me to realize and understand that this movie was made in 2008. So, this was made way back in the day. Like, if you see other movies at the time, it, there's, there, the quality is nowhere near this amazing. This is just a great quality movie. It's insane how good the graphics are, how good the CGI is, how good the special effects are, all that stuff. It's, it's so impressive. But of course, you guys knew that. I'm just going to go ahead and step right into plot because this movie, wow, it actually had a very interesting plot. So it started off with a very simplistic plot, the, the one everybody knows. And I, of course, it was a little bit twisted from what I remember in the stories, but we went into it and we went into it strong. It was very oddly simple from what I remember. I remember it being like a very complicated one, but that is, that is a different movie. This one was very, very simple and I found that very charming. It was such a simple introduction to the, to the series and I found it amazing and a great representative of what was to come. The character motivations and the characters themselves were very strong from the beginning and there was a great arc, an amazing arc from the beginning to the end. And so if you're into character, and you really like strong character build, building and strong growth, then this is a great movie for you because as, as you just go through the entire movie, you see such an amazing change in the characters and you just find it so charming and amazing. Plot itself, I personally didn't find amazing. Uh, although it, the introduction of the plot and the, the start of the movie was amazing with plot. I found it so awesome. As it went by, I found that I thought that we should have changed the plot a little bit because the same plot is going on from the beginning to the end. Just the beginning is kind of altered a little bit to kind of keep it going and keep keep it going strong. But for me, it was kind of like I, I thought we finished that plot. I thought that that plot had finished. Why are we still going on with that same plot? You know, I thought we would like finish that off, get rid of it. Now we there's a bigger one that we're going to fight now. But no, we just kept on going with the same thing. I, and I, I didn't like that too much. But of course, it ended up there was a big twist on the plot that made it interesting enough that I still really enjoyed it but personally I think I would have enjoyed it more if it was a completely different plot from the beginning because just it felt stretched out. Robert Downey Jr. as always is a brilliant actor in this. He was amazing. He's just he's such an amazing actor. He's so great that in this movie you know I, I can't imagine anybody else playing. I, he is Iron Man. If you see an actor that you know from somewhere else you know from a different movie then you might think like oh this is that person and then since they're in two different franchises you kind of think oh this is the actor and so instead of seeing the character you see the actor now despite the fact that i know Rob robert downey jr as the actor i cannot help but see him as the character he's just that like i never that doesn't happen that does not that does not happen at all and i just found it so charming the plot itself not my favorite but the execution amazing uh, all the struggles that he goes through, all the problems, all the climaxes, I find them all just amazing. This is just an overall well-rounded Marvel movie. Iron Man, the first Iron Man is, although I wouldn't put it at the top of my list for anything, it's really, it's a good movie. It really is. And I would rate it an easy 4 out of 5 because it is just an amazing movie. However, it is not that amazing. It's not life-changing amazing, but it's really, really good. And it exceeded my expectation for the first Marvel movie. I thought it would be like a 2 star because, you know, it's the first one. But man, it just blew it out of the water. It was awesome. It was such a great movie. And that's going to be my review for the Iron Man movie, Iron Man 1. It was a great movie, and uh, I really recommend it to anybody who really wants to restart the uh, Marvel experience and want to start from the beginning and get to the end. It's really not one that you would want to skip, because it's just amazing. Uh, there's some other ones that I would definitely maybe recommend skipping, but this one, definitely not, because it's one of the... It, it's up there. It's up there. It's really good. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any thoughts on Iron Man 1, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments down below. And make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!